Hi there, this is Wayne Purser with 365 Things to Do in Edmonds, Washington. Well, I'm down here at the beach today to talk about the King Tides. Uh, me and my friends have been watching this uh, since sunrise, and let's show you what's happening with King Tides here in Edmonds. Uh, the King Tides happen in January and February of this year, and with the tide coming in to about 12 feet, is extremely high as you can see as we come down the old boat ramp which is now a walking ramp and usually the tide is out considerably further and the tide like I mentioned before is going to be up over 12 feet which was which is definitely high they will see see some flooding uh, here in Edmonds if if there's more rainfall uh, today they're expecting rain today, but to subside through the weekend, which will uh, help relieve any type of flooding from downtown Edmond. Uh, I am rather close to the water here, so I keep moving away as the wave comes in. Uh, well over 12 feet today. Uh, they're expecting uh, 12 feet, 8 inches is a high peak on Sunday. So come on down Saturday, Sunday, Monday to see the high tide uh, in the morning. Uh, this morning high tide was about... Uh, 6:22 this morning. Uh, Sunday will be 7:30. So, uh, and then Monday will be around 8 o'clock. So, come on down, check it out. I've never seen the water over here on the breaker, the concrete breaker before. So, it's very interesting to see how the lunar pool is making this happen on the high tide, and also if there's any flooding in Edmonds, lower part of Edmonds, and the, uh, the waterfront antique area, and also. Uh, Harbor Square area with the water tide uh, table, the water table being so low, so close to the beach, there could be some flooding. And the city of Edmonds is taking care of any precautions not to make that happen. So, this is Wayne Purser with 365 things to do in Edmonds, Washington. Remember, it's an Edmonds kind of day.